Our last video took you through the first spaces in our Red Ledges project with Kilowin Construction. And now I'm excited to show you the rest. The home is situated in a mountain home community right outside of Park City, and we are going to start with the master bedroom. The space is beautiful. It has these great vaulted ceilings and views for miles, and it needed a bed equally as great. We designed this great channel back headboard that is part of our collection launching on McGee & Co. in 2019. We partnered with Lisa and used their mattresses throughout the entire home, but used their premium line, the Sapira, in the master. There are so many direct-to-consumer mattress companies on the market, but I'm not gonna lie, I was drawn to Lisa because of their great packaging and the cute stripes on the mattress. But what we didn't know is that they actually donate a mattress to a shelter for every 10 they sell. They're American-made, and you can try them risk-free for 100 nights. And you can use code STUDIOMCGEE at checkout for a discount. I know you're supposed to change your mattress every eight years, and we are coming up on our 10-year anniversary, so I am excited to try out the Sapira in our home. Every once in a while, I like to switch up the nightstand and do a side table instead. I think this was a great spot to do it because they had storage in their dresser, a walk-in closet, and it just kept things feeling light and airy, but then also a little dressier. If you have the room at the foot of your bed, I always love to add a bench. This one has this great woven leather detail that warms up the really cool neutrals we have throughout. Use this great art above the dresser that really tied the cool neutral color palette together. We actually thought that we would put our work above the mantle originally and then decided with the high ceilings that we should go dramatic and do this great statement mirror that draws your eye up to the beautiful beams and the light fixture in the center of the room. I think the first thing that you see when you walk into the master bathroom is, whoa, this is spacious. And then your eye starts to move around the room and you see all of the really cool details we did, like the dark cabinets with the dark hardware and this amazing hand-painted terracotta accent tile in the shower. It's hard to pick a favorite thing, but I think it might be the copper tub. It is warm and rich and unusual, and we accented it with this great ladder for draping towels and a cute accent stool. Because the bathroom is so spacious, we had room for a sit-down vanity. We designed this custom piece that's steel and wood with a marble top, and then we accented it with this really cool chair from McGee & Co that has this barrel back and cane detail. Our team has designed a lot of laundry spaces, but this one is pretty special. I think that the two-tone cabinetry and the textured herringbone floor, even the light fixtures are unusual for a laundry room. I think that all of those details come together for a really, really great space to craft or do your laundry. You'll notice that almost every room in the home has some type of rustic wood element incorporated. Even in the laundry room, we did these dark wood shelves. And then I think my favorite detail of them all is the fluted front of the farmhouse sink.
Now we're moving downstairs to the basement bonus room. The bonus room had this long blank wall and we knew that the future owners would probably want a big TV to hang out and watch down here. When we do these huge TVs, I like to put a dark back behind them so they just blend into the built-in. We did that by doing a stained wood on the back of the built-in. And then I love that the color is this kind of charcoal with a blue undertone. And then we incorporated this groove detail with little studs in the corners of the cabinets. Coziness is important, not just in a mountain home, but any home. And I wanted this space to feel layered. And for some reason, it just didn't feel like enough to have one rug, we needed two. So we grounded the entire space with a jute, and then we put the plaid on top. Keep in mind when you're doing this, you don't wanna to go too small with the top rug. Give maybe a foot to a foot and a half around the perimeter. As far as the upholstery goes in this space, we incorporated one of our new furniture designs, the sofa that will be coming to Miguel & Co. in 2019. It has this great metal base detail and one of our favorite chairs, the Eura chair, that now comes in this deep green velvet. We needed to balance out the scale of this huge built-in by filling some of the other corners in the space. We did that by putting a tree in a great textural basket, and then we layered artwork and a lamp and a really cool wood and metal console in the corner. The bonus room opens up to a kitchenette and kind of as the backdrop to the entire bonus room and kitchenette area, we did a vertical paneling, but we whitewashed it so you still got a lot of that rustic texture coming through, but it kept the basement feeling light. And then we contrasted that with dark cabinets and a dark countertop that has a really nice veining through it. In a kitchenette space, you don't need as much storage as your main kitchen, so it was a great opportunity for us to do no upper cabinets and do these cool shelves that have hooks for hanging mugs, to make hot cocoa, and store little dishes and cute plants. Across from the kitchenette, another large blank wall. We could have done a built-in, but we felt like we had enough kitchen cabinetry and then we had the big built-in in the bonus room. We needed something special. So we did not one, but two of these Maddox cabinets. And they're black with a stained interior and then these glass fronts. And they are such a statement and I love how it turned out. We used Lisa mattresses in every bedroom in this house and they are so cute. Unfortunately, we had to cover them up. Here we use this dark wingback headboard as the focal point in the room. The real showstoppers in this room, the view and this paneling, it is switched up from just all horizontal or all vertical. We put them together and I love the effect. I love when we have a little bit of extra space in a guest room for a chair in the corner. I think it's great for people to set their bags or just sit down and read. We incorporated this woven chair that has this dark stripe and then one of our new SM textiles and layered in with a great lamp and artwork. We incorporated a lot of paneling details in this home some light, some dark, but I think that it lends to the traditional feel we were after. And in this space, we did 
a dark paneling on the bottom and then a dark crown detail. And I think that that with the contrasting white walls between is pretty dramatic and I love the way it turned out. The woven headboard lightens up the paneling and adds texture. And we paired it with these whitewashed nightstands that has this subtle little pull-out drawer that you could use as storage or even as a tray. In an effort to keep things a little moodier and not too, too light in here, we did a dark dresser against the dark paneling with this awesome artwork above it. The Jack and Jill bathroom turned out so cute with the hex detail on the tile floor, the towel bar on the custom vanity, and then the oval mirror is an unconventional bathroom mirror, and I think that's why I love it. Hope you enjoyed the tour of our Red Ledges project. We have so many more tours coming, so don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.